Hey everyone, it's Matt from ZenShop and uh, today I've got an update on something a little bit different um, and that's actually uh, talking about how we're going to do the initial release of version 3. Um, so as you know from previous updates, we're getting pretty close to uh, finally releasing. Most of the features are now uh, completed and we're just in the final phases of uh, polishing and finishing. Um, I think the the major blockers are the global search, which needs to be completed, um, and uh, some some updates on uh, the chat widget and general bug fixes. But after then, I'm really expecting to to prepare for the next release. Um, so I've been talking to some friends, uh, close friends, and they've given me a lot of uh, really great feedback on um, uh, and advice on, on what, uh, what I could potentially do for ZenShop. And I wanted to talk about it here and just uh, see if there's any more um, feedback and suggestions that I can get from uh, my supporters and friends. Um, and, uh, so, so what I'm going to do is when, uh, when, when, um, feature completes, so that will be, it'll be a, an update on the, the search and the, the, the bug fixing. And after that point, uh, we need to really start considering, uh, getting a build out to customers. Um, and what that will involve is actually creating a new Shopify app on, on the Shopify app store. Um, because uh, I think the plan will be to actually transition people from uh, an existing app, Zen Queries, to the new app, Zen Shop. And, and that's mostly due to the fact that uh, the, the old data and the old, um, the old uh, uh, back end is going to be phased out uh, rather than replaced. Um, and I think that's mostly for simplicity for, for me, um, because doing the, the migration from uh, the old app to the new app is actually fairly complicated and uh, it wouldn't be too, um, it, I don't think it was actually be possible for me to migrate um, old database to new database without problems. So to avoid that, we're going to just start from a, a clean a clean slate and advise people to uh, to install the new uh, Zen Shop app and upgrade rather than uh, uh, replace. Um, and what that will mean for existing users is, uh, I think I'll send an email and also create a banner in in the app explaining to them that uh, Zen Queries is going to be uh, replaced with Zen Shop and they have a certain amount of time in order to um, to migrate to the new app. And of course, I'm probably going to lose a bunch of people uh, who, who might uh, find that uh, an annoyance. Um, but I think it's for the uh, longer term best of uh, ZenShop. And it means I can also release faster, uh, which is the main thing. Um, and so, so once we've got a uh, Zen shop app approved on the Shopify app store, um, I need to, uh, I need to also build in a much better understanding of our users and how we're, uh, how users are experiencing Zen shop. So in the past with Zen queries, I was really bad at collecting data and, uh, understanding the users. In fact, I have very little understanding of how users are using Zen queries. Um, and, uh, that's just from my ignorance of building SaaS startups. Um, and I've learned a lot since then. Uh, so, so the plan will be. Um, to use a software called Mixpanel to collect uh, as much information, metrics about our users. Um, and that's with the intention of understanding how happy they are as users on the platform. Um, because when someone installs Enshop, uh, they're going to have uh, a basically a, a, a one month free trial to uh, use then shop how they please. And then at the end of the one month period, uh, we're going to prompt them to upgrade to a pro or max plan. Um, so the free plan is going to be phased out and just be replaced with pro or max, but we're going to price them uh, competitively so that uh, we're, we're cheaper than uh, uh, competitors. Um, and uh, so, so in that one month period, it's kind of crucial to understand um, how how satisfied users are and initiate uh, conversations with them. 
so that will mean, for example, like a user installs app, um, and I'm going to try and get a little uh, um, notification system working, possibly in uh, the Discord uh, server that I use, and just notify myself that someone had installed uh, ZenShop. And uh, that would be very useful because I can then start a process of just uh, keeping tabs on them and seeing uh, how, how they're doing with ZenShop. And if um, uh, one thing I have noticed in the past is a lot of people just quickly install and uninstall apps. So those users I'm not going to, um, to worry about. But as someone who's uh, installed the app and then actually kept it on the store for at least 24 hours, and if they do that, then I'm going to send them an email saying welcome to ZenShop and um, do like an onboarding flow whereby I try to provide as much information and education and resources around how to get the, the most out of ZenShop. And I'm also going to try and reach out to them personally to build a relationship with them and try and support them through um, their process of installing ZenShop. Um, because one of the like things that I've noticed about uh, this sort of SaaS is that uh, it's kind of important to um, a store owner to be confident in the tools um, that they're using for customer support. Um, if uh, if they're not confident in it, then it's a, it's a big risk to their business because it's such an important part of their business that they really want to have it nailed. Um, so I really want to try and uh, build relationships with the store owners that uh, in install ZenShop and really provide them very personal and um, specific advice on uh, how to get the best out of ZenShop and uh, give them the confidence that we can, we can give them the solutions they need. Um, but there's also going to be a whole bunch of users who are just unsatisfied with ZenShop. Unfortunately, that's just the case of uh, SASs, you know, I can't please everyone. Um, but like, I'm hoping that I can try and glean information around why they didn't um, keep using ZenShop and uh, prioritizing uh, feature development and improvements around that feedback as well because it may be that we will be able to improve ZenShop just on the basis of uh, the, the, the feedback from people who've uh, not kept ZenShop. <laughs> um, and uh, one of the kind of nice aspects of releasing a new big update like I've done or about to do uh, is that we've still got like quite a lot of... Um, uh, uh, a, a small database of users that had previously installed installed Zen queries, um, and we can we can utilize this a little bit to just send them an email saying, "Hey, you installed uh, Zen queries six months ago. We've done a really big update, and we've even uh, rebranded." Um, uh, I saw that you you didn't find all the features useful to you or all the features were missing. Uh, would you like to give us another go? And we'll even give you like, you know, a little promotion on, on the pro plan, for example. So things like that, we can try and utilize uh, gaining uh, more users on the initial launch. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to do this uh, first release of the, of the new uh, Zen shop and definitely going to approach it much more professionally and uh, improved uh, since uh, last last releases we did with Zen queries. And I'm going to try and talk about it as much as possible and uh, keep things as open and transparent and um, publish uh, little uh, uh, findings that I find about the whole process of acquiring users and converting them to paid users. Um, yeah, and just uh, thanks for watching. Um, looking forward to do more updates on this and uh, see you again soon. Thanks.